everyone and welcome to the next generation seminar series the mfph next generation seminar series is a networking event by fields institute for early career scholars uh, junior modelers and epidemiologists working on or interested in mathematical modeling of infectious diseases and other threats to public health this weekly seminar provides an inclusive online space for presentation by guest speakers, journal club, and opportunities to present new work in supportive environments. Bonjour à tous et bienvenue dans la série de séminaires Next Generation. C'est un événement organisé par l'Institut Fields pour les chercheurs en début de carrière, les modélisateurs, les épidémiologistes travaillant ou intéressés par la modélisation mathématique des maladies euh, infectieuses et d'autres traitements pour la santé publique. Ce séminaire hebdomadaire offre un espace en ligne inclusif pour les présentations par des conférenciers invités, un club de lecture et des opportunités de présenter de nouveaux travaux dans un environnement favorable. First of all, we wish to acknowledge the stand on which Feeds Institute operates. For thousands of years, it has been traditional land uh, for of the Huron Wendat, the Seneca, the Mississaugas of the Credit. Today, the meeting place is still the home to many indigenous people from across Churchill Island, and we are grateful to have the opportunity to work on this land. Nous souhaitons reconnaître cette terre sur laquelle l'Institut Fields opère. C'est la terre traditionnelle des Zuron Wendat, des Sénèques et des Mississaugas depuis des milliers d'années. Aujourd'hui, ce lieu de rencontre abrite encore de nombreux peuples autochtones, autochtones de toutes Churchill Island, et nous sommes reconnaissants d'avoir l'opportunité de travailler sur cette terre. Today's speaker is Professor Mohamed Fatini, who is currently a professor of mathematics at Ibn Tufayl University, Faculty of Sciences, received a PhD degree in applied mathematics from Hassan True University, Casablanca. He has held a postdoc position at the Institute of Radio Protection and nuclear safety in collaboration with Paul University of France. He is known for his researches in stochastic differential equations, stochastic modeling and statistics, stochastic epidemic and within house models, and numerical analysis. His talk for today uh, will be on stochastic modeling and analysis for epidemic models with loss of immunity. Notre invité aujourd'hui, c'est le professeur Mohamed El Fatini, qui est actuellement professeur de mathématiques à l'Université de Motofail, euh, Faculté des sciences, a reçu son doctorat en mathématiques à l'Université euh, Hassan II, Casablanca. Il a occupé un post-doctoral post à l'Institut de radioprotection et sûreté nucléaire en collaboration avec l'Université de Pau en France. Il est connu par ses recherches qui portent sur les équations différentielles stochastiques, la modélisation statistique et stochastique, des modèles stochastiques épidémiques et virales et l'analyse numérique. Euh, Aujourd'hui, euh, son talk portera sur Stochastic Modeling Analysis for Epidemic Models with Loss of Immunity. Welcome, Professor, and uh, thank you for accepting the invitation. I will now hand over the floor to you. Uh, thank you, Idris, for this uh, nice uh, presentation. I would like first to thank the organizers, and especially Zahra Al Ahmed and uh, Dr. Idris Sekak, uh, which is a postdoc, uh, uh, which is in a postdoc position in in uh, uh, called the Santé Publique at the University of Montreal under the supervision of Professor Bursar Nasri. So uh, this uh, presentation, I will talk about uh, stochastic modeling and analysis of uh, epidemic models with loss of uh, immunity. So uh, in this presentation, we will investigate mathematical models of uh, epidemic spreading over uh, population. So I will follow the uh, following outlines. If I have time, I will talk about also about uh, living processes and uh, modeling point of view and maybe uh, statistic and Bayesian inference. Uh, so mathematical modeling of infectious diseases is a tool that has been used in the study to study the mechanism by which diseases spread uh, to predict the 
the future courses uh, of outbreak and to evaluate strategy to control an epidemic. So as you see, uh, there is a lot of books and papers has been dedicated just to uh, epidemiological uh, uh, epidemiology and, uh, and modeling. So in the early uh, 20th century, to explain epidemic behavior. The 1920s saw the emergence of compartmental models uh, by Kermak and McCondrick uh, epidemic model in 1927 uh, to describe the relationship between susceptible infected and immune individuals in a population. So the main idea of compartment, uh, compartmental approach is to split the population into three classes, say for example, susceptible infected and recovered. Then we try to deal uh, um, transferring this diagram to uh, stochastic or deterministic uh, differential equation and maybe partial differential equation. So let's give an idea about uh, what happens, for example, it is special for us. You can introduce more classes or less classes depending on the, the diseases. For example, in for HIV, which is a virus that uh, attacks the body's immune system. And once uh, people get HIV, they have it for life. They cannot uh, uh, recover from this disease. This is why we split the, uh, a population into just susceptibles and infected. So here you see that there is just two stages where individuals are infected for life and never removed. Uh, in the case for meningitis, for example, which is acute, uh, an acute chronic inflammation of the projective membrane governing the brain and spinal cord. Uh, the, this is the case when individuals recover from disease, but there is no immunity. So they don't return to the susceptible class. This is why we're choosing just to split the population into two classes, uh, two classes for this case. Sometimes uh, we can introduce an extra classes. For example, here, we're talking about A class, which is exposed individuals. So it means that there are uh, individuals that are infected, but not yet infectious. So it means that there is a period of incubation, so uh, we introduce this class to for uh, uh, to to model the the delay between infections and uh, uh, getting infection for other people. So, in case, for example, for yellow fever, which is a disease caused by a virus that is spread through mosquito uh, baits, so uh, uh, cholera is. Uh, 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 sorry, the, so it is modeled by SAIR class, meaning that there is a period of incubation uh, between infected and uh, giving infection to other uh, peoples or other susceptibles. Uh, when the case, uh, uh, for example, when studying the cholera, which uh, is an acute diarrheal illness caused by infection of the instantine. The infection is often mild or without symptoms, but can be severe and uh, life uh, threatening. So here, there is no, uh, the, the, the immunity is temporary. There is no loss, uh, there is a loss of immunity. And so recovered individuals may be returned to, to S class. So here, what uh, I propose as uh, a study is uh, what is called SIRR model. And this is the case, for example, for uh, uh, tuberculosis. So in general, uh, doctors prescribe some special uh, strategy that, for example, uh, uh, infected individuals must follow a treatment for six months, take a medicine. And uh, if we stop, for example, after three months, the, the treatment, so individual can return back to the infected glass. The, there is no symptoms after, after for example, three months, they, they assume their self that they recover, but they return back to the infected glass. This is the case, for example, for human tuberculosis, bovine tuberculosis, and some sexual genital 
uh, diseases like herpes. So here uh, the population is split into uh, three classes, say susceptibles, infected and recovered individuals. So uh, this susceptible, susceptible uh, class, the first class is increased or augmented by, by birth or immigration and is reduced by infection after uh, contacting after a susceptible individual contact contact someone which is infected and is reduced also by natural uh, vets. Uh, then uh, uh, infected people will join the I class, the infected class, uh, and which is now in this case uh, augmented or increased by infection and is reduced by natural vets and by recovery from the disease. But for this special case where there is a loss of immunity or uh, due to incomplete, incomplete treatment or reactivation of latent period, some individual may reverse back from R class to join the, the I class. So uh, I mean that, uh, for example, here, after when someone contacts uh, someone uh, uh, this is this beta si is called uh, incidence function, and e, this modelization, e modelization uh, modern uh, kind of model is coming from demonomical population. This uh, product si is just just to to explain or uh, the contacts between two individuals uh, up to constant beta for deterministic cases, which is a secondary uh, uh, new infected cases is an average number, uh, which is uh, a constant. And uh, uh, this is not the case in general. This is why we can introduce stochasticity or randomness to this to this parameter. OK, now we ex explain this a diagram using differential uh, equations uh, like the like uh, this uh, uh, system where s dot is the derivative with respect to time and uh, and so on for i at this uh, susceptible class is augmented by by natural by uh, uh, by uh, uh, constant parameter, uh, say for example, recruitment. Here we have chosen same uh, parameter or same vet, same rate uh, as for uh, for natural vet, but this is not a, a restriction. But one can has can choose uh, uh, mu to be different for recruitment. But this is just the case uh, uh, to uh, talk about or to recast ourselves in, uh, uh, in the framework of uh, constant population. If the duration is short, this, uh, this is why we, we, uh, we chose this parameter. In fact, uh, when the population is constant, it can be, can be um, just equal to one, or uh, it doesn't matter. This is not a restriction, again, I'm um, talking about. You can choose uh, any other uh, parameters. Uh, if you like. So uh, the derivative respect, the, the, the rate of change of susceptibles will be affected by these recruitment uh, parameters will be uh, also uh, dependent on the number of infected individuals who, who will join uh, the I class and is reduced by natural death as I explained before. So uh, here, the I class, the rate of changes, derivative with respect to time, are the number of infected and the individual and uh, will be decreased by recovery and natural deaths and will be augmented by gamma r by rates of uh, individuals who reverse back from recovery class to rejoin again the i class due to incomplete treatment or um, to or uh, due to reactivation of uh, latent period so uh, this is a simple fit model. We can complicate the model taking into also uh, into account uh, reactivation of uh, latent period and also relapse. So uh, gamma R gamma is called uh, is a relapse uh, rate for you. 
So to study this uh, equation uh, uh, in general, uh, in the framework of the deterministic dynamical system using a special approach, for example, algebraic approach or Lyapunov uh, analysis or normal form theory. Uh, so it's a rich uh, theory, uh, dynamical system. Can, it depends on the case when it is uh, sometimes difficult to, to handle the, the, or to, to predict the spreading disease uh, using algebraic approach. So uh, Lyapunov you know, function is alternative, but some, sometimes nor uh, algebraic approach nor uh, Lyapunov analysis can uh, give insight about what's happening, uh, especially when the number of, of the basic number of reproduction number is equal to one. So studying the system will depend on the uh, what is called the basic reproduction number, which is the average number of secondary transmission of a single infectious, infectious individual in a fully susceptible population. So uh, it means that uh, for a given susceptible uh, population, if I introduce someone which is infected, so we will count the average number of new infected cases. This is exactly the uh, um, the basic reproduction numbers. So when this number exceeds one, uh, it means that the disease is a person among population. Now, uh, the idea is to try to control the disease, but if it is under one, it means that the disease is not uh, important in the population and extinction will be uh, a good idea to, and the, 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 the main, um, issue to, to reduce the disease and to talk about extension. So now how to calculate this uh, reproduction number. So uh, returning back to this uh, I class uh, for sample cases, one has just uh, the uh, calculation of this R0 is uh, calculated in the initial case, initial uh, in the beginning. Uh, at time zero. So it has intuitive idea just to put this one, this equation equal to zero and give, uh, uh, try to uh, sample if, uh, cancel this I component if this, if without this gamma, gamma R, then uh, one can, can uh, have intuitive calculation of this R zero, but uh, for a consensus uh, method, we refer to to the next matrix generation introduced by Dickman and and the Van der Drich in their books. They explain how to calculate that using next matrix. In fact, we construct two matrices uh, and uh, um, we seek the the radius, radius number of uh, those uh, product of those matrices. Then we get. Uh, reproduction number. So uh, uh, the deterministic analysis for this uh, previous model is IRI has been studied by Vargas in uh, 2013 and also in by so in some word about this model, even though it seems simple as it's IR model, it is, this is not the case because uh, of the presence of this R, uh, gamma R term. So the analysis is not straightforward, and one has to be careful about when introducing this gamma R into in the system. So uh, um, uh, Vargas delusion using uh, Lyapino functions uh, can prove that when R the, the basic reproduction uh, the disease-free equilibrium. Uh, of the system is global asymptotic sample. What does it mean? It means that how you see here, the, the I can, there is three components. The first one is susceptible, which can be one or uh, N. N is a total number of population in the beginning and zero, zero, which means that there is no infections. So this uh, disease-free equilibrium is calculated. Uh, there is two equilibrium to be calculated from the deterministic system, just put in, this is the So I, I see that Vargas de Leon uh, proved that uh, those equilibrium 
uh, or that can be calculated just uh, uh, putting the uh, considering that is that the derivative respect time component is equal to zero, then we can compute those city states or stationary points, which are very interesting to study the disease. So now uh, we are the basic reproduction number is uh, exceeds one. The dynamic equilibrium of the system is globally asymptotically stable. What does it mean? Stability it means that. Uh, when we run our solution, it remains in the neighborhood of this uh, those uh, equilibrium. But asymptotic stability means that uh, uh, more than that, we get uh, asymptotically the, uh, uh, the solution. When the time run out, the solution will uh, can hit the, the stationary point. This is the meaning. So in this case, we talk about extension of the disease. And the second case, we're talking about the persistence of the disease, which means that the, CD, the, the disease is among the population, but it is controlled. So XU has considered the same model, but introducing a delay in the epidemic model. I have said before, uh, one can just introduce an exposed class or uh, taking just SIR model and introducing a delay in the, in the, in the model. So here uh, we, have, we have used just uh, the opinion of analysis because algebraic uh, approach files give uh, more insight about the spreading disease. Uh, the limiting case is not studied here because R0, when R0 equal to 1, one has to use normal form theory or uh, central variety and uh, remain uh, um, stable uh, stability or something like, like that. It means that you, one has to introduce more tools to study the system. So now, uh, deterministic models are very important. They offer great insight into, into the effects of infectious diseases. Various epidemic models have been introduced in recent decades. Uh, for example, delayed models, uh, when introducing a period of incubation, age structure models. And this, in this case, we can talk about, explain the behavior of disease using traveling waves, uh, spatial spreading, so uh, using stochastic, uh, just uh, deterministic uh, partial differential equations, we can introduce vaccination, quarantine, and seasonal variation, and uh, other uh, kind of modeling uh, for special cases. So epidemic uh, uh, dynamics is inevitable, uh, inevitably affected by environment noise. Noise is an important component in the deep epidemic system. So, uh, uh, in reality, uh, parameters are affected uh, randomly. So, uh, and the in fact, the their uh, fluctuation around some average value. So, uh, here just to go to give just a few. Uh, publications of your English literature, just uh, the, the first one by Mao and all the, the others, Lahroz Omarik, uh, and especially this one, Lahroz Stati, which is an interesting paper in the beginning uh, with the deeper analysis. And uh, this, uh, this one is a lot of time is very seated since uh, it was thus as the starting block of. Uh, 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 papers giving insight about uh, extension and persistence uh, and using necessary and sufficient countries. By the way, Hrouzat Sati are scholars from uh, Morocco in uh, Abdul Malik Saad in Tonshi University. There are others, uh, other papers. But now in literature, there's a lot of people dedicated to stochastic epidemic modeling. So stochasticity, there is two kinds of stochasticity, demographic stochasticity using processes like birth death processes or using environmental stochasticity. So introducing uh, stochasticity for such, uh, some parameters, say for example, uh, perturbing, uh, like for example, um, transmission rate, death rate or other parameters using white noise or telegraph noise or also even noise. 
So uh, let's give an idea about what's happening if you introduce stochasticity in the transmission rate. Uh, transmission rate is, uh, uh, I, I recall that this is uh, the average uh, number of secondary cases per unit time. So we will uh, perturb this parameter using white noise up, uh, to a parameter sigma, which is choose to be constant. And one has to be careful about this uh, parameter. In fact, uh, sure, we're introducing stochasticity, but that uh, sigma was, uh, should be small enough to give uh, a realistic meaning of this uh, perturbation. For those who are not familiar with this uh, B uh, parameter, uh, be careful, this is not a derivative with respect to time, since uh, this uh, uh, is a stochastic process which is not uh, derivative. It is continuous in time, but not derivative. Uh, but this is uh, a symbolic uh, uh, expression. And uh, B, you can think about B as random if for each T as random variables uh, belonging to a space of L2 omega, and which can be uh, constructed just uh, using some special random variables uh, up to uh, times uh, function, special functions uh, um, uh, which uh, span the L2 uh, uh, space. So, uh, if so, introduce this is I remember uh, you that this one is just the deterministic parameter. Now, introducing stochasticity uh, in uh, or preserving randomly this parameter, we get those two uh, quantities. Uh, uh, and now we are talking about a stochastic uh, uh, system. Uh, sigma, I have talked about before is a constant, chosen to be constant, but uh, one can complicate the model and choosing it to be uh, depending on time. SI are the two components. Uh, and up now we have uh, a stochastic system. Uh, again, this is not a derivative or differentiability, but this is uh, a symbolic uh, uh, expression of the, 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 the the integral with respect to in the sense of Eto. Uh, now, uh, 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 with the analogy of deterministic systems, we have analyzed this, the deterministic system with respect to stationary equilibrium. I mean, the endemic equilibrium and the disease-free equilibrium. Not that this is not often the case when talking about stochastic. If we perturb the system like that, or perturbing other parameters, for example, mu, lambda, or recovery rates, or relapse rates, uh, the stationary points or stationary equilibrium are not still uh, equilibrium for this system. So we cannot estimate uh, rich enough or connect more information compared to the deterministic system. So uh, just uh, here in, the, in this case, the equilibrium, the stationary equilibrium, I mean, uh, the disease-free equilibrium is still an equilibrium. This is just a particular, but the endemic equilibrium is not is not an equilibrium of this stochastic uh, model. So we can estimate just fluctuation or just uh, a uh, few results compared to the deterministic model. So the first result is to prove that this problem is well posed in well posedness in the mathematically and biologically, mathematically proving that uh, proving existence and uniqueness. And uh, biology meaning that the the uh, parameters are are uh, positive. So uh, uh, in this case, this uh, region gamma is writing like that, uh, meaning that starting, what does it mean, this theorem? It means that starting in this uh, uh, invariant set gamma, so our solution remains positive, and even though the population is still constant. So as an idea of how to prove uniqueness and existence, just uh, returning back to our model, uh, our functions or parameters just given that uh, we get uh, just uh, our drivers are just uh, uh, um, bilinear, so we have just a local Lipschitz conditions, and we get just the existence and the uniqueness up to 
an exploding time, which we assume that is finite, but we can uh, we can prove that this exposing time is, is exactly infinity uh, by construction, especially stopping times and proceeding by construction, we can prove that. Now, we, um, we can uh, uh, talk about uh, uh, persistence and extinction, not with respect to our uh, basic reproduction number, but with respect to a new uh, threshold, which is a stochastic, depending on the volatility. So if, if there is no volatility, this is just the reproduction number, but uh, introducing stochastic, we get another, uh, a new uh, threshold, which is a stochastic. So the first result is about uh, uh, extinction of the disease, but uh, not uh, uh, surely, but uh, in probability. So we prove that starting from initial value in the invariate sense as before, the disease-free equilibrium will be globally asymptotic stable in probability if this uh, threshold is less than one over this quantity, which is uh, still uh, less than one, uh, it means that when talking about uh, stochastic threshold is a threshold between extension between extension, uh, as energy with the uh, deterministic system. Uh, we talk about uh, extension and persistence when R zero is uh, bigger or smaller than one. Here it was here it was just uh, the first attempt. We don't get uh, uh, good results. Uh, I mean, uh, this stochastic threshold not uh, uh, less than one, but less than a quantity that's still less uh, than one. It means that uh, it reminds a region between that uh, between one over one plus sigma square over two and one we cannot uh, we don't have uh, a good result but we will give a conjecture later we have uh, we get we will get a good results uh, using a special Yapino functions and a special treatments uh, and stopping times uh, here we give uh, some numerical simulation so at least focus and concentrate just on i component in fact the you, here is uh, in blue color is uh, the infected uh, uh, individual uh, infections. Infected individuals will go to zero, which mean, uh, uh, meaning uh, extension of the disease. In the red color uh, is the stochastic uh, component. Uh, so uh, going to, uh, to to the limiting case uh, when uh, the threshold is less than the previous quantity. Now. What we prove uh, is uh, that uh, when the uh, the previous stochastic threshold is greater than the disease-free equilibrium is uh, stochastically unstable in probability, which means that that the I component cannot go to to zero, but to go to something else which is different from zero. So. Uh, uh, some idea about the behavior of the stochastic uh, uh, term. This is the, uh, again, blue color is the deterministic uh, uh, component. Say focus here, this is the infected uh, components. Okay. And the, the stochastic one is fluctuating around, meaning that uh, we have persistence of the disease. So uh, uh, we have talked about the interesting uh, idea when introducing stochasticity is uh, is to, uh, to to derive a stochastic threshold. This is the main issue. So in our case, we have proved that uh, that uh, TS is less, less than quantity, not than less than one. But when TS there is no problem when TS is greater than one, the disease will persist in a population. But using numerical simulation. We prove that changing uh, some parameters, we still get in persist uh, extension of the disease when uh, this quantity, this threshold, TS is less than one. This is we have proved that we have uh, conjecture the following. If TS is less than one, then the solution, the component is can converge to the disease free equilibrium with probability one. This is what we show numerically. But uh, after, uh, after that, we proved in a, a new paper using special uh, 
Lyapunov uh, function. This is a generalization of the previous uh, model. Uh, taking into account, this is IR i model again but introducing more parameters for example epsilon i for some individuals who are maybe lost immune uh, become again susceptible uh, if there is for example no symptoms and and so on so i here i explain uh, uh, i explain lots uh, delta is the peptide and the uh, return to the uh, S class, epsilon is cure rate of infection. So this is uh, cure rate of infective individuals. Mu is the recruitment rate, which is equal in this case of the natural uh, dates uh, rate. And what we have proved more results uh, uh, in this case, I mean that the persistence will be proved uh, with respect to this, uh, um, to the same stochastic threshold. This is just again the reproduction number calculated using next matrix generation and proving. And Moroya has proved that this problem, Moroya and Konya, uh, proved that the, the, uh, Asymptotic stability with respect to the R0 uh, using the same uh, argument uh, as before for the deterministic system. So here, this is our, our new uh, stochastic threshold derived using uh, Lyapunov analysis and using in the stochastic form or the book of Kasminski or, or Mao for that. Here we proved uh, the extinction of the disease. Uh, now uh, the, the, the result has been improved compared to the previous one. Uh, to S, when TS is uh, smaller than one, we get uh, 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 the extinction of the disease in probability. Uh, up, uh, provided that the deviation term is smaller than beta. I have talked before about that, that one has to control this deviation term. If not, uh, one cannot estimate good results. But now if the uh, threshold exceeds one, we get what we called a persistent in mean. This is a, a persistence, is, it, uh, it means that, uh, uh, for example, for the components, the, limiting, the limit when time runs, uh, we get uh, equal to something that is different from zero. Since this is uh, a weaker result, we get just limit f of this camp of this uh, quantity is uh, uh, bigger or equal to uh, to a, is bigger than zero. It means that uh, the uh, this persistence is is just weaker. This is why we're talking about persistence in mean. So uh, this is why we get uh, we don't we get just weaker results uh, because the stationary point I mean the endemic equilibrium is not an equilibrium of the stochastic model. This is why we don't get a good result. If we want to get a good result, one has to recast himself in the ergo, ergo, ergodicity principle and instead using some uh, probabilistic uh, tools and uh, uh, especially uh, talking about transition probability from a state to another state. Now we can explain what happens exactly and uh, getting persistence of uh, of the disease now just uh, uh, some discussion about the previous model the first one or the second one since they are the same except that we have introduced the some uh, loss of immunity of recovery to join so uh, against the class so the quantity we have uh, called the stochastic threshold this is this one so uh, you're, we're talking about persistent extension uh, depending on the values of this uh, uh, threshold. So uh, here, the recovered uh, individuals has no influence on the assumptive behavior of the model without relapse. When introducing relapse, we see that the, the new uh, stochastic threshold depending on that one, on that recovery, recovery rates. So 
uh, uh, also the presence of relapse phenomena reveals that the effect of the rate delta in the nutrition uh, in nutrition uh, in the nutritional and so on on the dynamic of the model so the relapse rates can influence this uh, quantity so uh, it is easy uh, we can see that uh, returning back to this uh, uh, quantity we can see that uh, uh, ts is decreasing as a function of delta so this on the population by improving the the uh, the, the this this rate that is by reducing the main period time uh, of recovery. so with the presence of relapse among recovered individuals it is better to return quickly to the susceptible class than to stay in the recovered class so choosing some increasing values like that, uh, we get uh, um, we get something like that, which means that we are going uh, that the solution passes from uh, persistence to extinction. Uh, this uh, quantity uh, will lead to the extinction of, of of class. I mean, reducing the main period of recovered individuals may lead uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to to extinction. And uh, and again, we can remark that the S is an increasing is increasing as a function of relapse uh, rates. This means that the system, the previous system, becomes persistent as this number mean time of sojourn of recovered individual individuals in the R compartments after relapsing uh, to the I compartment. So uh, uh, it becomes slower. We choose now just illustration, increasing values of this relapse rate from zero to one. We get uh, uh, this, uh, this uh, quantity, which, which means that the thresholds is uh, passes from, uh, in the beginning, it, uh, it was less than one, and it passes to uh, a quantity that exceeds one, which means that the relapse promotes the persistence of the disease into the population. And we give more uh, interpretation uh, of uh, what happens. Uh, we here, we, we, to get the threshold of the relapse, we, we were talking about compared to a basic reproduction number, but threshold of uh, relapse. So using some calculation, one can uh, uh, derive some results about uh, um, uh, some can, can derive uh, a stochastic uh, or uh, maybe a threshold uh, or to, to, to interpret and uh, uh, to give a good idea on how to uh, control the disease or how to 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 go to the pre to how can uh, 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 choosing special parameter or uh, uh, of the relapse can can lead to the persistent uh, extension of the disease uh, 